So what have you guys done throughout this slow-moving Russia crisis that has worked? What the president has done is he has built a global coalition uh, to stand up in the face of President Putin and President Putin's aggression and uh, invasion of Ukraine. Uh, what he has done is he has rallied uh, the world. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki somehow claiming that Joe Biden has rallied the world in the wake of Russia's violent incursion into Ukraine. This as Russian soldiers continue to lay siege on the capital city of Kiev. Here now to react live and in person, Congressman Jim Jordan, ranking member of the House Judiciary and Oversight Government Reform Committee. Congressman, thanks for being here. Good to be with At you. CPAC, you'll be speaking, speaking from the main stage later today, yep. which, by the way, folks can watch on Fox Nation as well. Uh, so when you look at the situation, you, you hear how the White House is attempting yeah. to characterize it. Nancy yeah. Pelosi uh, also took to the podium yesterday and said it's the brilliance of, of Joe Biden's presidency yeah. uh, right now. What do you make? Well, I don't know if he's rallied or the brilliance, if, if you, know, you, can, you can reach whatever conclusion you want. What I do know is President Zelensky, I think, has rallied his people. And the Ukrainian people are showing tremendous courage. And I think they see that from their leader. I, I said this last night. I, I've never met President Zelensky. But I felt like I got to know him a little bit during the impeachment a few years ago over the phone call he had oh, with President Trump. Yeah. And you, you just studying that, looking what he said, looking how he handled things, you just really got to appreciate that this guy felt was genuine, that he um, really cared about making a difference for the people, the Ukrainian people and for his country. And I think we're seeing that courage and leadership. And uh, as you know, and the guy with your service, courage is contagious. And I think his leadership, his character is contagious and the whole country is feeling it. And what they're doing to stand up to the Russian army is truly amazing. It is. You're right that just one leader can can galvanize people who otherwise, if they had seen him fled, yep. might say it all is lost. Is it also unfair to characterize this resistance, whether it's javelins or stingers? I mean, Russian helicopters and planes are coming out of the sky. Yep. Tanks are, are being left in, yeah. in, in wreckage on the road. He, they don't have those weapons unless President Trump provides them no, to Ukraine. No, ex exactly right. You know, the, again, back during impeachment, I remember we talked about during the Obama administration, they gave him MREs and blankets, and President Trump gave him javelin missiles. And so, um, yeah, it would have been nice, too, frankly, if, if, if maybe that $85 billion in, in equipment and weapons that was left behind in Afghanistan, if yeah. some of that were in Ukraine yeah. right now to help these freedom fighters and to help President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people. So what they're doing is, is truly amazing. Um, and I think it just, it just points to... The, the energy situation, when you make poor decisions uh, last year, over the past year, the Biden administration, and frankly, Europe, when it comes to energy, you get put in this bad situation. And uh, uh, that, that is, to me, the key, the, the, the poor decisions made on energy policy. We went from an energy independent country to where we are now, and it's also playing out in, in Ukraine, as we've you talked about a European lot. You mentioned European response. I mean, President Trump uh, ruffled their feathers quite a bit by trying to tell them to yeah. you know, step up to their obligations. Should Putin decide to go further, and that's a, a next step thing, he's still dealing with Kiev, mm -hmm. uh, is, is, is Europe prepared to respond? I don't know, but I do think President Trump was right on target when he was uh, over, the, over his presidency, particularly pointing to, uh, you know, then Chancellor Merkel. You got to do more. NATO needs, NATO countries need to do more. It's always the U.S. putting up the money, yeah. putting up all the, the troops and everything else. They need to do more. And, and frankly, if they would do more, I think we'd be in a better position today. Sure. So I think President Trump was right on target. Uh, we'll just have to see how it all shakes out. Uh, speaking of seeing how it all shakes out, uh, real quick, uh, Joe Biden nominated Judge uh, Ketenja Brown Jackson yeah. to the Supreme Court. Your yeah. reaction? Well, I think it's another left-wing pick. You know, it's interesting. The Arabella Advisory Group, this left-wing group, was the one behind pushing her. Uh, it's also interesting that group, uh, their key lawyer, who they pay all kinds of money to, is Mark Elias, the same Mark Elias who, who was in the Durham filing, who was helping this whole this whole process of framing President Trump. That so name I, pops up yeah, a lot. Yeah. So she's pretty radical, and um, I do think the fundamental issue is where you are on parental rights. I mean, we. If you're right on school choice, if you're right on moms and dads having the, that should have, have the say-so, not government when it comes to their well-being of their children, if you're right on that issue, I think you're right on most other things. And I think she's wrong on parental rights, which, you know, she's wrong on Second Amendment, First Amendment, and a whole bunch sure. of other issues as well. So pretty radical choice. Let's, uh, let's see what happens in the Senate. Real quick, we're out of time, but you're right. Are there votes in the Senate to stop it? I hope so. I, I really do, because you, you, you don't want someone that radical, particularly with what we've seen happen to our First Amendment liberties over the last year. Yeah. Um, you really want someone who has full respect for, for the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. So possibly all eyes on Joe Manchin again. We'll see. <laughs> Congressman, thanks a lot. You bet, Pete. Thank way. you.